I like to talk about very short talk. Practice makes perfect. Okay. I would like to play a part of Vladimir Horowitz Mozart Piano Concerto number 23. He was the most famous piano player of all times in the world. He now passed away. Okay. Please listen. You don't have to listen all, but I will stop. I just into the score. He died at age of 86. This play, this performance, before he died. Vladimir Horowitz is a Russian-born American classical pianist. He is also well known as a composer. In his piano performance, I, I particularly love his colorful and detailed skills, which touches the audience's heart strings. Am I under heart strings? Yes, sir. Strings and excites them. <clears throat> he was born in 1903 and died in 1986 at the age of 86. He had played the piano his whole life. He always presented better performances as he became older, <clears throat> even in his 80s right before he died. <clears throat> Many people asked, do you still practice? In other words, do you need to practice still? <clears throat> but let me of <clears throat> Horowitz replied, I skip practice for one day, I notice. If I skip practice for two days, my wife notices. If I skip practice, for three days, the whole world would notice. Some time ago, I had introduced to you the most renowned cellist, Pablo Casals. Until Pablo died at the age of 97, he never skipped practice, not even for a day. He started playing at the age of seven years old. A news reporter asked him, after nine years of playing, how come you still practice? You are the number one cellist. Casals replied, even now, I feel I am still improving. What a wonderful, humble answer, showing humility, even as the number one cellist in history. A Japanese swordman, Miyamoto Musashi, in the 17th century, even today, he is considered as the best martial artist, samurai. You know what samurai is, swordmanship. In order for him to demonstrate one particular technique, he would practice it 2,000 times. 2,000 times. With this dedication, we can say he reached up to the divine level. I want you to know. Uh, anybody reach up to the divine level, they can write poems, they can paint uh, masterpieces from that, that state of mind. When you learn a skill from your instructor, please do not wait for the next skill, expecting to learn what is the next right away. 
you needed to repeat that you have learned over and over again. Excellence is a habit. I have been meditating for 60 years. I always get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Of course, I naturally get up at 4 a.m., but sometimes my alarm clock wakes me up. In that case, I'm still half asleep. But in the darkness, I automatically touch the alarm clock switch without hesitation or any mistakes and turn it off. The alarm clock switch is as small as one small tiny uh, bin. bin. You might think this is miraculous, but that is from a long time practice and the habit. Aristotle once said, excellence is not an act, it is a louder. It comes from long time practice. Please repeat over and over. This pianist, violinist, no matter what they may do, we have to understand. Practice makes perfect. Thank you.